Okay, I'm going to show you how to use a speed charge in case your battery is completely dead and the charger won't recognize it and see it. The manual states that at less than 4 volts the, the, the charger won't work. If I plug it in normally this battery is showing 4.3 so it's going to start but I'm going to bypass it anyway just to show you what, what it would look like if the battery was completely dead. Okay, it's off. Now if I press the two buttons and plug it in at the same time and when it goes into that mode the fan comes on and it starts charging at a high rate. So you can see when you bypass it and the, you can see it's at 16.4 volts. So a battery that's completely dead can be charged if you bypass the speed charger in this way. Once you um, put it in this mode for about three or four minutes the battery should come up to past four volts and be able to charge be charged normally and you'll see it, it shows that it's at 6.8 volts now and we can see it's at it's showing it's at zero percent it's been sitting for two years sulfated and it had half a volt on it when I first hooked up the voltmeter so but you know, putting a slight charge on it boosted it up to 4 volts. Okay, here we have, I'm charging up a, just to show you how it goes on a, this is a um, Sears Die Hard made in China. <laughs> it's showing 88%, 89%. And when it turns on, you can see the voltage immediately starts jumping up. 15.2 something and this is the uh, motorcycle battery this was dead sat for three years in my motorcycle the two end plates were dry they were they had about half water in them so that's not good and it was uh, measuring I forget seven volts I think when it started so after a lot of charging it came back up and now it rest resting voltage is like 12 8 and the battery capacity is somewhere around 100 cold cranking amps, so it's about right. The speed charge will keep charging it until it gets up to 100%. Then it'll level off and stay there for a while and go back down. I don't particularly recommend the speed charger. I would think if I was going to buy a charger, I would go with the old school transformer style because they're more dependable, they don't break down, everything electronic is going to break down on you. The speed charger is nice from the standpoint of you can hook it up and walk away and just leave it and it will automatically work its magic and then stop. The problem is it w because it won't stay charging and you can't manually set it to charge while it might save you from boiling all the water in your battery out the fact is, is that a lot of batteries like to be charged at low rates for long periods of time, for days and days. So it doesn't really have the ability to do like a little 2 amp trickle charge for days and bring your battery back to some health. What happens, a lot of people complain, and I've experienced this, where the, the charger will go through its cycle and then shut itself off. And if you hook it back up, it'll show that it's like at 85%. So instead of having the electronics capable of recognizing that it's not really charged up to 100% or not, it will just shut down once it hits a certain voltage and it says, okay, we're all done, and um, let's stop. If it would stay charging like the battery minder will, the battery minder will stay charging at a float rate of 13.3 volts and it'll just stay for days and days and days while it does a little desulfating at the same time. The speed charger would be much better if it would do that, but the speed charger, once it's done, I'll come back and see that it's gone back down to 12.6. Well, if the speed charger can't recognize that 12.6 is not 12.8, 12.8 would be fully charged, 12.7 may be fully charged, but 12.6 or 12.5 is definitely not fully charged. So it should be able to recognize that it's at 12.5 or 12.6 and turn itself back on for another charging cycle, but it won't do that. In fact, the other thing is, is that if you have a piece of electronics like the speed charger, 
it's mo you know it's likely that it's going to go bad at a certain point in time. So when that happens, then what? You have no charger. Whereas if you get the old school transformer style, you can adjust it from either two amps or ten amps, and you know you can either charge it at the lower voltage at two amps, or you can put it on the higher ten amp setting. Okay, here's the speed charge. I'm charging up a completely dead motorcycle battery, but I'm just showing you some examples here. So you can see the green light is on, which says char charged, as in it has charged and it's maintaining. If you click one of the buttons, you'll see it's at a hundred. It states that it's at a hundred percent, so it's claiming the battery's at a hundred percent capacity. But in reality, here's the donor battery we're charging. It's the completely sulfated battery that sat for years and years and years and when I started working on it it was completely dry both the ends are bulged and there was basically no water at all in there and it's been sitting that way for a long time yeah 1189 it's showing 1189 volts which we know is less than a, a charged battery but let's take Schumacher's word for it because if we shut this off if we shut the speed charger off and in maintaining, this is why it won't work as a main maintenance unit if you leave it hooked up. Obviously, that battery is less than 12.8 volts, which would be 100%, and the float charge on a 12-volt battery is 13.5. If we hit this again and we shut, shut it off and make it turn itself back on, it will assess the battery, and it correctly assesses it at 11.8 volts. And if we set it to charge at either of the charge rates, it'll show us the percentage after it turns itself on. Okay, it's set saying it's a 12 volt battery, not a 6 volt battery. Fine. It recognizes it's a 12 volt. There, it shows us what it feels the percentage of charge of this battery is, 41 percent. Now, if it's such a smart charger and you started charging your battery and it went through the cycle and it reassessed it and it said 11.8 volts, obviously that's not 100 percent. Why doesn't it start another charge cycle and keep starting charge cycles until it gets up to 12.6 at least? Until it gets up to 12.6 volts, the battery is too dead to start anything. So why would it stop charging? And it certainly didn't go into float mo mode at 13.5. If it had gone into at 13.5 into float mode, it would have continually charged it at that rate, but it doesn't. And I'm, I'm just going to show you here, the same battery at 14.28, right, 14.39, it keeps on going up. Why is it going up? Because I have a little wall transformer here. This is a 12 volt wall transformer. And as you can see, it's 500 milliamps at 12 volts DC. You can probably get one of these for a dollar at Salvation Army. And then cut the ends of it off and put a couple of little alligator clips on it. And just to show you what it's putting out, it's putting out 18 volts. It will put a little bit of voltage into that battery. This will actually work on car batteries also. Of course, at a half an amp, you're not going to charge up your car battery overnight, but for a maintainer or something that, to keep the battery up, or for a slow charge, you know, you're going to leave it on for days and days. You know, if you don't have anything else to charge a battery with, that will work. And it, if you check on the heat that the um, wall uh, transformer is getting to, it will remain fairly cool, it's just doing its job. It's not uh, pumping in voltage on something that isn't taking it, right? If the battery was completely dead and it was at 4 volts or something, it might get pretty hot. And if it does, you better unplug it because it's going to ruin it. But once the, once the battery is, is in relatively good shape, it will remain fairly cool and, and it delivers a... I checked it out, it delivers it from a third to half an amp with the amp uh, going through the amp meter. So they work kind of nicely. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show is the battery minder. Here's the battery minder. And you can see it's uh, got the little blue pulse in the center that shows it's desulfating.
the green light on the top shows the power's on, and the blinking light on the bottom shows that it's charging. And as you can see, it'll get up to like 14, high 14s, but it'll stay less than 15, so you don't really get any equalization going on. The batteries don't bubble, and um, it relies on the pulsing current to uh, get rid of sulf sulfation. It goes through different stages, and it is a five-stage charger. This is a bulk stage, so it's going up to 14, and then it will go down to um, float stage at about 13.3, but it never drops below 13.3, so you can leave it on for really long periods of time. The anti-sulfation circuit that pulses will be going on continuously for days and days. The battery minders have a very good rating, but, you know, it's not going to fix every battery back to 100% because a lot of batteries are just uh, too far gone. If they have, uh, if their plates are eroded, if their plates have had shedding where they uh, go down to the bottom of the battery and are cracked and pieces of them fall off, you're not going to get a like new battery. You can get rid of sulfation just by equalizing with the old school battery charger at high voltage. But the um, battery minder does work as a small charger. Good for, you know, keeping your motorcycle batteries or small batteries like a maintainer. It does a really good job of acting as a maintainer. They have bigger ones that will do golf carts, 48 volts and 36 volts. They're pretty expensive though, I don't think I would get one for that. I would get one of these for $50 off Amazon and then move it around and do 12 volts at a time. And leave it on there for maybe 3 or 4 days. The date it went into um, Costco and the sticker shows it was sold in July, August, September, that's the, where it was poked out. And when I first uh, hooked this battery up and checked it, the voltage was about 12.6 and high 12.5. I ran the battery minder on this overnight and this has taken a short trip that was five minutes away and the short trip back and has sat for, I don't know, four, four hours at least since I was charging it up overnight and it's still registering 12.77 which means it has been somewhat you know I would say that's proof that it has been restored somewhat because 12.7 is full 12.8 full <clears throat> anything less than you know 12.6 is like 90 percent so when it's down to 12.6 and 12.5 it's not operating at 100 percent the battery minder has brought this back up because I've checked it several times and I charged it up with the Schumacher speed charge after two hours of charging with the speed charge it still after starting it up and letting it sit went back to 12.6 so it didn't really bring it back up now at 12.78 it's much better much better shape